happy Monday time for pick of the morning. Got some great photos in today. Let's take a look at our first one from Stearns Wharf. Now this is from when we had the super moon, but what a gorgeous shot. Cece sent this in, so thank you so much and love to give a shout out to you as well as Nicole Hernandez in Lompoc. Check out these beautiful colors from the sunset there. So of course, what great photos. Of, if you want to see yours on air, whether it's your kids, your pets, or the weather, take a look. Here's three ways you can interact with me via Facebook, Twitter, or even an email. And I also want to give a quick shout out to Steve and Connie Larson. They are loyal viewers in Carpinteria every morning. So thank you guys so much for watching as well. Look at the sunrise. Lots of it this morning in Santa Barbara, but not so much in other parts. Lompoc, Santa Maria, you're seeing visibilities down a little bit. In Paso Robles, Morro Bay, we are getting some reports of some thick fog there this morning. So safe travels as you head out on the roadways. Otherwise looking pretty good up and down the coast as far as your fog goes. Now most of that going to clear up as we get into the afternoon, you'll notice later on in the day, a lot of it's sitting off the coast, but it's looking like we'll get mostly sunny to partly sunny skies throughout the afternoon. But then later tonight, you'll notice those clouds push back in, first into San Luis Obispo, and then we'll see it into the valleys and mostly the central coast overnight into Tuesday morning. But you'll notice a little bit of clouds being picked up from Santa Barbara to Oxnard, and we have a slight chance of some light rain or drizzle tomorrow morning. So I need you to be weather watchers, and, and what you need to do is shoot me an email, a Facebook book or a tweet tomorrow and let me know if you see that rain. As far as the forecast goes for the rest of the week, a lot of us going back to school or also going to be going back to work. Let's take a look at what we can expect. Santa Barbara, we'll start with you. Your seven-day forecast is mostly upper 70s to low 80s and then this weekend is when we're going to see a warm-up. So we have a cool down coming for us due to a system that's going to be moving through that's also going to be increasing that cloud cover in the morning as well as those slight, very slight chances for rain or drizzle. Here's your seven-day forecast, Santa Maria. It's looking pretty cool the next couple of days before a warm-up for the weekend, and that's the same thing for Ventura. You'll see those temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Overnight lows will be in the 60s. The Santa Inez Valley cooling down into the low 80s for a few days before climbing back up into the 90s by the weekend, so enjoy this cooler weather while it's here. Lompoc will be in the low 70s, and then for the weekend, temperatures in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. The five cities will see temperatures in the mid-60s for several days and then we'll see the fog again in the morning hours. Afternoon we'll see that sunshine but there's patchy drizzle chances all week and Paso Robles will see some morning clouds but then sunshine in the afternoon. A little bit breezy on Wednesday and enjoy the cool down into the